And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers Welcome again to yet another episode of Color Commentary Where we give you views from a different side Boom, you know I never realized that that's a V right there That makes sense, gosh that makes sense We give you views and then it's from a different side You know I never thought about that when I was doing it But now I just realized that I'm a genius It's awesome when you realize that you didn't know you were a genius But now you are So anyway, today we'll be covering episode 2 Season 2 of the Netflix Marvel original series Jessica Jones this is Women's History Month, and so it's only appropriate for us to cover this. This is the only Marvel Netflix TV show, or even a movie, with the female lead. It's the only one currently. It's also the only Marvel movie or TV show with the female director. So ladies, stand up. Come on, we, we want you to get more involved, and thank you Marvel for trying to be inclusive here. Let's go ahead and bring on our color commentary crew. First, we have coming all the way out of California. California knows how, oh, not from California, North Carolina, North Carolina, raise up, dressed as uh, Jessica herself, Mr. Chuck Taylor. What's going on, sir? Really? <laughs> you say Jessica? Are you not? I mean, who else is walking around <laughs> with a black jacket? I don't know if I'm dressed up as her. Anyways, but I'm Charlie. Uh, go on our KFH party easy. You know us, we do parties of all kinds. But you now I'm here ready to talk about Jessica Jones. Um, have my likes and dislikes about the show. It was, I get into it during the, the review, but you know, I'm ready to get into to Jessica Jones. And no, I'm not dressed as Jessica Jones. I just thought, you know, she wears a leather jacket all the time. Let me put a leather jacket on. I'm not her necessarily. I just thought leather jacket might, you know, bring something to the, to the show. It's okay, it's, Charlie. It's okay. These in the two thousands. It's okay for you to be you, man. It's okay. Yeah, Jesse yeah, Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and coming all the way, also from North Carolina. Uh, nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning, Mister DJ Quick. What's happening there, sir? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just getting my paint. I was just um, getting my paint ready so I can paint a portrait. But uh, you know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick, um, CEO of Fourth Wall Productions. Uh, we write Ace Blade, King Supreme. You know what we do, man. I'm ready. Uh, I We'll see if I'll be the contrarian this week because this show is not great. But let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. I was I was thinking you was going someplace else. By the way, you guys can see that uh, Danny is uh, dressed as the Latin lover over there, Mr. Oscar, with the the painter. There you go. If you see any paint spots on the floor at Danny's house, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> and. Myself, I'm dressed as the purple man, you know, so I'm mind controlling y'all to watch this video. Let's talk about what we liked about Jessica Jones. So let's see what you have to say, DJ Quick. What'd you like about this show? What did I like about it? I liked that it was free to watch on Netflix. I liked <laughs> with your subscription. <laughs> with, the, with the subscription. I liked that it was only 13 episodes. I liked <laughs> that... Um, I'm drawing a blank here. I just don't. The show I liked. I like Jessica. Okay, I like the Jessica Jones character because she's a she's not your typical superhero. I like the premise of the story. I like that it's a different type of show. I want to like a lot about the show, but I just didn't this time. The first I I was a a champion for the first season because the first season showed us stuff that I had never seen on TV before. The first season was so like inventive. The 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 purple dude killed grave like the the villain was perfect for her. It was it was apt for what was going on with society and it was just great television in my opinion. Like it was just great. The it was suspenseful, the drama, the characters made sense. They did what the characters you know, given their backstory and history should have done in certain situations. 
this show didn't do any of that. Like, it was like, it was just, okay. I like, what did I like? I'm, I'm doing that thing that Charlie does. <laughs> <laughs> that was that I didn't like. <laughs> I mean, let me stay on what I did like. Okay. So I did like Trish. No, not Trish. Trish isn't the one that I like. What was her name? Hogarth. I liked Hogarth in this one because she was she was bad. Like she didn't have no powers and she was consistent. She said, I'm trying to get rid of this ALS. I got the oh spoiler alert. Do we do we already do the spoiler alert? No. I got this. Yes. Yeah, I got this, done. this disease. I got this degenerative disease. We don't know, you know, what's gonna do it, and I need to do what I can do to get rid of it. And then once she came to the acceptance that there was nothing she could do, you know. She was. She went straight back to being Hogarth. She went back and she manipulated your girl. She said, "Hey, uh, go in there and take care of that for me." It was like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> she, the way that she uh, straight up handled that girl, the other girl. I was like, "Dang, you straight manipulated this woman." <laughs> and they deserved, it. they deserved it. But um, I liked her, and I liked um, dang, what's his name? The black guy, Malcolm. This is Malcolm, right? Malcolm. Right. Like Malcolm because he was consistent. He he didn't want he was the most consistent part of the show to me. He was always trying to learn from Jessica. He, you know, had his morals. He said, I'm I'm a recovering addict. I shouldn't be doing these things, and neither should you. You shouldn't be doing these things. He was the voice of reason. Nobody wanted to listen to him for some reason, but no. <laughs> he, he was the voice of reason. <laughs> So he was consistent, and I think he, his character his character arc was good. He finally got to a point where he was like, "Okay, Jessica is on some other stuff. I'm not gonna keep chasing after her. I'm gonna do my own thing." So I, I I applaud that, and um, that was about it. Um, that that's all you get reaching there, sir. Right, <laughs> I was, I was no. reaching. <laughs> Don't hurt your arm. Don't sprain your arm. Reaching, uh, reaching over there, sir. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Charlie Taylor, what uh, what do you have to say about uh, Jessica Jones? What do you like about this show, man? Oh, what I like about this show, I think I I did like uh, Hogarth. I felt that this was a good um, season, kind of seeing her weakness come out and then her having to kind of deal with that something that she couldn't just throw money or just you know take control of so kind of seeing her a little vulnerable was pretty good to see on on this season um last last the last season she got a little vulnerable at the end i think when uh, the purple dude um had to, i think she tried to kill her girlfriend i think that's what it was somebody had, mm -hmm. had took took her mind so when she had that happen she was like oh maybe i don't have it all together yeah. Cuts. Yeah. Cuts and stuff. Okay. So <laughs> I liked her. I think she did a good job um portraying her character. I to me, Jessica is Jessica. Like I don't not like her, but I don't love her. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It's like she kinda is the same character regardless. I think I think the story kind of kind of just had a conflict with her character all the whole storyline to me it's like it really didn't show her as what she could have been you know because she's a butthole you know she's a butthole of a person she's went through a bunch of crap and she mm -hmm. the, the the earth the world has crapped on her and she just craps on everybody half the time but that's that kind of reminds me of um of uh what's the will smith movie we did the review um, um Hancock. Hancock. Same time. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Hancock. She kind of reminds me of Hancock just because like, she don't care. She, she's upset with the world, and so she kind of like, hey, I'm going to just deal with it. You want to say I'm a freak or something? I'm not going to save you, but, you know, she still does the right thing in the you no know, in the end, but that don't mean she ain't a, you know, she ain't she ain't Captain America. You know, she ain't going to fight for justice. Not. You know, Captain look at me. <laughs> I'm here for all your role models. You no, know, she's drinking all the time, you know. <laughs> She's cussing all the time, and yes, she's doing that night cuddling all the time. Uh, <laughs> they they kind of went a little <laughs> extra wild in this season with the night cuddles. I'm like, gosh, daytime cuddles, so, night cuddles, mid afternoon cuddles, car cuddles, all kinds of cuddles. So those are the <laughs> part. That was the part that you liked. That's what you're saying, right? That you like that part. Oh no, this is like yeah, section. Yeah, so I, obviously, you bringing it up during that section. No, no, actually, <laughs> you're right. I, I got off on the rant, you know, when I started talking about, 
I was hoping, you know, other things would happen. Let me get back to things I do. He was like, hoping night cuddling um, would happen. I understand. <laughs> I don't really mind the cuddling. It's just what it's like all the time. It's like, all right, I'm I want the story to be better than than this. Like, come on, let's kind of move along. I got 13 episodes. Let's go. But uh <laughs> back back to what I like. Um the uh the violence from her mom. <laughs> Oh, she was a savage. Her mama was killing people, <laughs> like destroying dudes. That was good. I like that part, like because they did not hold anything back. She is like a hundred times stronger than us. <laughs> She's ripping people's heads, and they lay in there with their head backwards. You know, she would kick somebody across the room. The glasses through their body. It's like okay, so they really made made her strength, you know, match up. With how a human would hit, you no, know, like a monster, uh, you no, know, somebody really strong hit a human. This is what would happen. Not like when Thanos right. hits Captain America and somehow Captain America can hold his hand, which doesn't make sense if he can beat up the Hulk. But that's a whole different movie and topic. I just still don't understand it. He but, didn't um, hit at him. He was just <laughs> he trying was to holding Thanos' hand. Rub his hair. He was no. trying to rub his hair, and Cap was like, "No, I just." <laughs> <laughs> Better what I like. I I like how they 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 you know made that more realistic on those fights and her being stronger than than Jessica. They made sure you you knew that her mom was stronger than Jessica. You know uh, she whooped Jessica tail plenty of times. You know throughout the whole episode. So. I mean, I guess that was that's probably the I, I I'm I'm I actually I don't like that it was a 13 episode story, so I'm a I'm gonna throw down the dislike episode on dislike side, but um I do I do like that it was part of Netflix, and I didn't have to go to a movie theater or something to watch it, you know that I do appreciate that, but no, that's that's <laughs> not it for me, uh, uh, Rashad, you go ahead and you know you give us all the glory. There was once an idea that a team of individuals could come together to fight the battles anymore. that we could when we couldn't fight them. This, this, can, we just, can we just do that? Can we just talk about a team of people coming together to fight battles that we can't? Because I don't want to talk about, about this. You talking about Defenders? You talking about Defenders? defenders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I like. You know, it's interesting that all three of us like the same thing. We all like Jerry Hogarth. I think, I mean, if this woman's history month is all about Jerry, man. Like she was she was the standout woman in this episode, man. She's so strong. And she she had a hard life too, but she just she's just got it together. But she, you know, watching her deal with her her impending death and watching her just kind of fall apart a little bit. I love how she pulls up, you know, on the side of the street and she's just out of the way and then a the prostitute comes up and says, Hey, you want a party? And she's like, yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> you know, watching her fall, and then she's like, all right, I'm done. Get the heck out of here. And she's pulling herself back up again. And, you know, and then you learn in those conversations how she came from nothing. Um, I love that. I love seeing her, how she was so happy when she thought that she was healed. But I also love seeing her get that revenge. Boy, oh. Do not mess with Jerry Hogarth, man. Just spoiler yeah. alert, man. She convinced another girl with um uh, with some coupon, with some a printout of some prices. She convinced somebody with a price list <laughs> 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 to go murder somebody else. She's like, look, you see this right here? Yeah, you need to go ahead and do that. Boy, it was awesome. And she just completely washed her hands, man. She was awesome, man. Great character. Um, and I like the su surprise ending. Again, spoiler alert, so cut off this show if you know if you hadn't watched it. But uh, Patsy killing Jessica's mom at the end, like, I didn't see that coming. You guys know I love the, I didn't see that coming. I love that stuff. You know, mom, Jessica's mom is talking to her, and all of a sudden, wow! I'm like, dang! I mean, how the heck did she make that shot? Like, oh my God! From a Ferris wheel? Like, that was incredible. Right. Um, and I like Malcolm's character. I did. I know Charlie does it, but I like Malcolm's character. I like the fact that he was loyal to Jessica at, at every turn. Now, we're going to talk about uh, how that is. Oh, I found what I was looking for here. Um, Danny, just real quick, sir. Mm -mm. What I saw here is you said, oh, that's why you don't like it. You think it's supposed to be like Daredevil, but it's not. 
this show is a drama. It's not going to have a lot of the Iron Fist martial arts and Luke Cage shout outs. JJ is a private eye. And that's what she wants to be doing. Can you, uh, can you uh, explain that, sir? These, these words, anybody can go on the color commentary page and see these words where you were going against me to put me in my place to let everybody know that this was a good show. So uh, what's happening, sir? What's going on? Go over here to Facebook and go ahead and delete that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all the way wrong. No. <laughs> the first season, I was defending the first. I was defending the first, the first season. season. <laughs> I was defending the first season because the first season made sense, and I hadn't seen all of the second season. I was only like two episodes in, and I was like, "Okay, it's got some potential." But by the time I got to episode four and five, it was like, "Why?" Why are we even doing this? <laughs> it's a wife. It's a wife. All right. So, what did you dislike about this show, sir? Um, let's see. Dislike. <laughs> so, first things first. Trish needed to be beat up at several several times. <laughs> Thank, you. Show. Thank you. Thank you. Up <laughs> like oh. several times. I don't care if she's your best friend. This chick is <laughs> wild. From the moment she took that inhaler, she was wilding the whole show. <laughs> Malcolm should have beat her up. Uh, Jessica should have beat her up. Jessica's mom should have murdered her like twice. <laughs> like, I was like, why is she? Oh, it, was no. like, it was like the writers were just like, okay, we need to give her powers. And, you know, because the first season she wasn't, she wasn't jealous of Jessica's powers. She was never uh -huh. even jealous of Jessica's powers. So how all of a sudden am I jealous of Jessica's powers when I'm I was a she was a superstar she was well loved she was liked she had her own show she right. was about to get married to, to the most wonderful dude in the world what's right. wrong with you <laughs> let me look into the camera what is wrong with you <laughs> if you want to mess up your life like this stop it it's like why. They they like trashed everything that was good about her from the first show, and they were just like, we need to figure out a way to make her a wildcat. And it, I was just like, that was unnecessary. It was just unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, I did like, like you said, you you like that the surprise ending with her um, shooting. Um, what's wow. her name's mom? I liked how it was filmed. I liked how it was presented. Like she was, you know. She shot her while they were in the mid, like mid sentence. Right. Um, well, she let her get out the important thing that she had to say, of course. But Jessica started talking, and then all of a sudden, it's a blood splatter. So I like that, <laughs> but I didn't like that she was the one who did it. Why? How are you getting there before the cops? First of all, second of all, how did you find them? Um, third of all, when are you a sniper with a with a nine millimeter? Nobody can oh. shoot like that. I, I have I have qualified with with a nine millimeter. Uh, M4, uh, it's not that easy in the dark. You shooting, hey, you hitting, getting headshots in the dark on Facebook. She, she took her punisher. Right. She, was, she 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 uh, had her inner Punisher coming. She saw that Punisher series, right. so she she been working with him, and that's that's why we didn't know that she was you know, a, a sniper. She had yeah, she had been training with Frank Castle for like right. I guess all the times when she was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Trish was so horrible in the show. And then Jessica was so Jessica was so inconsistent. I mean, I understand that it was, I understand why she was, you know, torn between her mom and and you know Trish and, and all this stuff, but it, she was just so inconsistent for me. She was so flippy floppy. Um, okay, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna I'm gonna cross this line, but I'm not gonna cross this line. I don't want to kill people, but I'm gonna kill people if I Sit down and the whole put the dude in the bathtub, putting the dude in the bathtub, like let that man go. I mean, it was so much. Like in the oh, one thing that I forgot to say that I did like your um the girl, I don't know who the other lawyer, it was um, you know, the three lawyers, the other female lawyer, there was three lawyers that were that had their names yeah. on the door. The other female lawyer, right. she was a savage. Like every time um, Hogarth was like, uh, you know, we're supposed to be a team. And she was like, man, this ain't a you. We about to kick you all the way out of the door. Uh, she, <laughs> every time she was on screen, I was like, she, 
you just don't care about nobody. She 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 a beast. But um, there was a whole lot, man. There was a whole lot. The the um the Oscar character, the painting scene where he and I understand that it was the artist, you know, who who drew Jessica Jones back in the day, so they had to fit that in there. But just so happens that the new guy is a a perfect forager. He's a painter and he's an artist and he's a craftsman and he knows how to fix and he's a perfect father. And like <laughs> you could have made this dude into five characters. He could have been five <laughs> characters and you put all that in uh -huh. one. I'm painting. I'm going to paint you as you sleep. As you sleep. <laughs> I'm going to paint you. And create an ID while you sleep too. <laughs> I'm like, man, if you don't go somewhere, do you know what kind of what kind of equipment they use to make passports? No, no soup, no person who is a super has that equipment. And if they do, they are being watched because people know that you are for <laughs> you're forging documents. That's ridiculous. <laughs> like it was just so much, man. I like I'm sure more stuff will come to me, but I'll let y'all go. <laughs> All right, Charlie, I know that you are a big fan of the show, man. So uh, I know you probably don't have a whole lot to say, man. So just uh, just roll it out, man. I know you don't have a lot. So, oh, <laughs> what did you dislike about Jessica Jones? Okay, let me first start by going, you know, it's the summer in New York. You know, people are getting crazy out here. And I'm walking around with my leather jacket on <laughs> <laughs> through the house. While people can barely stand, oh, let me let me kick open this water this um water hydrant or whatever it's called, so these kids can get some some nourishment from the from from, from some water because it's so hot out here. It's just hell. But let me keep this jacket on. You see keep me sweating? <laughs> you see you see me sweating? No, take the dang jacket off, Jessica. Okay, <laughs> nobody cares about the the dang jacket. Oh, that was that irked me so bad when I saw. I was like, why does she have the jacket on? It's like and you know alcohol. Degrees. You know alcohol makes you hot too. <laughs> yeah. Alcohol what? Alcohol makes you hot. You know. Oh, it does. It makes yeah, you feel alcohol hot. Alcohol makes you hot as well. I know she had she had a right. crazy air conditioning bill because I mean she got the jacket <laughs> on in in the complex all the time. I'm like, bro, this dude that you was so in love with, like he really turned you out. Like really, like if you gonna keep the jacket on. For like how many years he been dead? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry to get on the jacket, but the jacket act, act up. All the all the, the main thing is I hate Trish. I want you to know that I hate you, Trish. I don't like any part of you in this this season. I think they they I don't know if you got mad with the writers that you didn't have enough parts or you didn't have you know you weren't made a big enough deal in the last season. This season, oh. What was your purpose of this season? You had everything. Right. And you just had to always keep crapping everything up just to take time that didn't amount to nothing. Mm -hmm. So, yes, my, my hate for Trish, I might start a petition, you know, about, you no, know, I hate Trish. Do you hate her too? I don't know. I'm thinking about that. Uh, yes, we do. Start hate her too. But, uh, <laughs> Jessica Jones, like, to me, the actual season actually has some type of substance if they could have found a direction to stay with it. You know, like when they started the temp that the uh that Trisha's um fiance was, you know, maybe using her to get to, to Jessica or, or like a double agent type thing. I'm like, they should have kind of kept with that because that would have been good. And then we found out he's just trying to set up a freaking party, a wedding party or something. Right. <laughs> This bull crap. Now you gotta whisper. You gotta go hot. You gotta go. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> hijack her damn computer, <laughs> uh, so you can get some contacts. Be, really? He was trying to get hired with a cave face party. Z. I guess so. <laughs> I'm like, what the world, bro? What kind of party planet are you doing? I'm <laughs> like, uh, will you marry me? Uh, thank you. Thank what? You. What? <laughs> so, thank you. So that. That whole botch, that that botch episode. I'm like, okay, so they're not gonna have nothing coming out of this. Okay, so then we find out like somebody's killing somebody. It's like, all right, let's figure this out. Let's see if they're gonna go somewhere with this. And then you, know, you find out that's her mom. I said, like, oh, junk is her mom. And then they they don't do nothing with that either. They just like, oh, let's talk about other stuff. Let's talk about these relationships that Malcolm's doing. Let's talk about this relationship that Trish is doing. Let's talk about oh, here goes some more night calling. Oh, let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. I'm like, can we get back to the mom thing? Like her mom is killing people. 
Like this is <laughs> just a climax <laughs> moment. Like this is something that's that nobody knew, but they just like used it and just like let it fizzle out. You know, it's like they could have just built that up and had a good ending to the show to have some twists and some turns. You know, I would like to see it for Dang Dad if somebody else was, you know, alive. You know, or uh, uncle, uh, cousin. You know, who made you and why did you? They make you. <laughs> right. They, they to me that they just like just fell flat on their face with the writing on this dang show. It reminded me a little bit, not so much of a uh, Luke Cage, but like when Luke Cage brought that last villain in. It was like, why? Mm. Why why are you bringing him in? Y'all should just That's kept it at like 10 episodes or eight episodes or whatnot and just had and then mm. had, save him for some for some for another season. You know, that's right. that's kind of how I felt with, with this show. But you know, like I like Tori said, we can go on and on and on and on. And I have <laughs> a lot of things I don't like, but I probably don't remember everything. Right now, I might have to throw some comments down there in the comment section. Just more lists of things right. I don't like about this about <laughs> this show. <laughs> Just do a whole nother wait. video. I can't wait to hear your uh, that didn't make no sense because I know there was a bunch of those. Oh, yeah, God, but I'm gonna I'm I'm let you go. It's thirty minute show. I say that every time. So oh, you go ahead to, and go. About to be an hour today. My smallest <laughs> complaint about <laughs> my smallest complaint is the development of Hogarth character, like. It just didn't make sense. Like, okay, here's a lady that's a powerful lady. She's getting used to the fact that she's about to die, okay? Here's a person that has the ability to take people that are about to die and give them powers. Person about to die has strength, has strength and a powerful person. Keep people from dying, give them powers. Hmm. <laughs> like, how did you miss that? Like... It was just, it was, that's exactly what should have happened. Like, she should have dealt with the fact that she could have chosen to have powers from the actual doctor. Not some scam healer. I mean, the scam was cool, but it, it wasted the development of Hogarth's character. Cause the whole show, you're like, I like Hogarth, but I don't understand why you guys are spending so much time with her. Unless you're going to reel it into the main plot. But nope, they didn't. Sucked. My busy, biggest dislike on the show is the titular character. Jessica Jones. Y'all hate Trish. I cannot stand Jessica. She's an a-hole, man, and I just can't get with her. Like, like if you compare her to the biggest, the other two biggest a-holes in Marvel, Wolverine and Punisher, like, she's next level. Like, those guys, they just want to be left alone. They're quiet, don't mess with me, and I won't kill you. <laughs> you know? And they actually, if you actually get on their good side, they're loyal to you. She's like, whatever. She craps on every single person that's around her. She's constantly crapping on Trish. She's constantly crapping on Malcolm, firing him every day. He's getting her up. Hey, get out of bed. Come on, you need to get to work. Come on, let's do this. He's constantly loyal to her, and she's just always crapping on, her, all, all, on him all the time. I just, I can't stand her, man. You know, she all she does is belittle people. And it's not like every other Marvel superhero hasn't had a terrible life. I mean, you compare her to Daisy, Daisy from um, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She was abandoned. She thought all her family was dead or didn't know what happened. She found out that she had superpowers, but all the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that went to get her died trying to get her. She's been manipulated. Um, I had a mind controlled by Hive. I mean, pretty much everything that... Um, uh, Jessica went through. Daisy has been through, but maybe she had Colson. But yeah, Jessica know. didn't have Colson though. That's the thing. Yeah, I guess that ain't no thing. Colson up in there. Trish is she should have had. She should have had somebody. She need. To, she need to call Doctor Strange or somebody. <laughs> to give her some help. My other thing is, I didn't really understand like what her problem was. Like, yeah, her problem with the doctor was the fact that yes, half her problem was that the doctor gave her mom powers, but made her crazy. Okay. I get you, but her other half of that is like, you gave me powers when I did, you did this without ask, without asking, you were about to die. You were, you were basically dead. He saved your life, inadvertently gave you powers, had you adopted by a wealthy family, took your mom and actually tried to keep her away from you because he realized that she was dangerous. I mean, all of these things are like, the background for like what actually could be a good superhero story but instead what's the doctor do no you know this this needs to end let me kill myself and yes, not just right. shoot myself let me that? blow up the whole building everything it just doesn't it doesn't make sense that the action pacing that literally nothing happened 
Like she's got she's got arguments with a rival private firm that amounts to nothing. The wizard shows up, he dies, which I like the wizard, by the way. Um like the, the guy, the guy shows up trying to kill her, he dies real quick. Patty's Patsy's like, Oh, there's a killer on the loose. But his, her mom wasn't hunting her at all. If her, if Patsy hadn't done the show, the mom wouldn't have showed up at all. It was just a waste. And the only time you saw um, Jessica's powers were to watch her open a door. <laughs> she has the power of opening any door and leaping leaping into scene. You know, this is her superpower. <laughs> you know, uh, they have any more on, money man. in the budget. I just I can't synthesize with her, and I got more stuff. But I, but again, we gotta we gotta keep it going. Uh, Danny, should people watch this show? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth watching, but don't you know set too much time. Like you don't have to do it all at once. But don't do it all at once. Like <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Have an off alcohol beverage for the episode. Uh, I just, I think it's worth watching, but just because it's a Marvel Netflix show, like it, I'm not gonna. It's not. It wasn't as bad as Iron Fist. There were things that were were decent about it, but it wasn't much better than Iron Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Why not above? Charlie, should people watch this show? Um, let me see. I think you should watch this show if it's like a thunderstorm and, you know, nothing really do. All your plans are over and, you know, right. there's really, you just want to just see something. You know, you just get You've that, hey, just throw something so I can just chill. Right. Please throw something so I can clean up. <laughs> what do you say? I said you've already done the night cuddling. Yeah, you did your night cuddling, you know, you're eating some ice cream, you're just chilling. You know, you're just flipping through stuff. You might be on your phone. Make sure you have your phone out when you watch this so you can actually do something that's interesting. Like, you know, check the football scores. You know, maybe play some games. You know, so you can just go in and out the show. It, it might actually be good if you do that because you're not really watching all of it. So you just, like, have something to do while you watch it. But, you know, yeah, I would say watch it because it's Marvel. And, you know, it's Women's Month. Yeah, yay, women. Um, make better shows, please. Uh, <laughs> this and uh, what was the other movie we, we reviewed? A Wrinkle in Time. No, not Wrinkle in Time. Oh, Annihilation. Uh, Annihilation. <laughs> Annihilation. Yeah. Time. What you yeah, bro. I love you guys. You're my queens, but yeah, we gotta we gotta get some fire. We gotta get some fire. You're the fire. You're the fire of the team. You need the fire. Bring the fire right. back. But uh, you know, no, check it out. Just don't be have no expectations when you watch it. It's just watch it. Expectations. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all what, Charlie. You mentioned Iron Fist. I really dislike Iron Fist, and I think that Jessica Jones is a better show. But I hate this show. I hate it. I, I hate it. I hated myself for forcing myself to get through all 13 episodes. So you know what? In good conscience. I can't recommend this show. So you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Did Mike go off too? Mike, he quit. Mike, he didn't want to talk about it no more. Who should I quit? Right, look, I guess we got to do the outro then. <laughs> Is he, uh, he used from a different side? <laughs> different side? Well, everybody, I'm Danny J. Quick. You know, until <laughs> next time, stay vigilant, my friends. Charlie, you want to say anything closing? Hey guys, so just check us out. The links below. Comment. Maybe you like the show. Hey, we might not know what we're talking about, but you know, just till we see you again on the next go round. All right, guys, you take care. Stay vigilant, my friend. I'm gonna do it. And it's gotta be Sentimental's project. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to. Power